and welcome to episode two of ERRX. In this episode, we're going to talk about whether or not we can safely give levetiracetam as an IV push versus as an IV piggyback. Now, picture this scenario. You're working in the ER and a patient comes in in status epilepticus. The provider wants to give a dose of IV levetiracetam as fast as possible. Per the Neurocritical Care Society, it is recommended that IV anti-epileptic drugs be available for administration within 15 minutes after a STAT order as a standard of care. Now, we all know as pharmacists that by the time a provider enters that order, the pharmacist verifies that order, and the other technician or the pharmacist in the IV room makes that order, it can be much greater than 15 minutes. That is why last year, my site actually added levotracetam into the Pixis machines in the ER. This way, the ER pharmacist can compound a levotracetam infusion at bedside during emergent situations. As a side note, levotracetam is available as a 500 mg per 5 ml vial, which currently must be compounded in 100 ml of normal saline. This infusion is then given over 15 to 30 minutes as per the package insert. However, several studies are starting to question this dogma. They have shown an equivalent safety profile in rapidly pushing levotracetam undiluted versus giving it as an IV piggyback. For example, a retrospective study from Burkazi et al. compared IV piggyback versus IV push levotracetam for doses up to 1500 mg and had no significant adverse drug events. Two prospective studies one by Wellis et al. and the other by Dalziel et al. concluded that levotracetam doses up to 3 grams diluted 1 to 1 with normal saline and given over 5 to 6 minutes were well tolerated in both adults and pediatrics. To note, the ESA trial used a 1 to 1 dilution or 50 mg per ml for a vial and gave it over 10 minutes using doses of up to 4500 mg. It is no surprise, therefore, that our recent poll sent out to the Neurocritical Care Society pharmacists showed that most centers are either allowing IV push of levetiracetam or are contemplating moving in that direction. Some sites use a maximum of 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams given undiluted as an IV push, whereas others have no dose maximums. So here's my take on all of this and my current recommendations. In RED, we allow IV push levotracetam for doses up to and including 1500 mg undiluted. For doses greater than 1500 mg up to a maximum of 3000 mg, we dilute this one to one with normal saline and administer it over 5 minutes. Now if you do the math, if you have a dose of 3000 mg, you will need 30 ml of levotracetam and you will have to combine this 30 ml with an additional 30 ml of normal saline all in a 60 ml syringe and that can then be given over five minutes. I know that this can be kind of time consuming and maybe even confusing for some of the pharmacists, especially in a very hectic situation such as status epilepticus. Therefore, if you have doses that are 3000 milligrams, you can still consider diluting this as usual in 100 mils of normal saline. However, you can give it much faster, for example, over five minutes instead of the 15 to 30 minutes that's recommended in the package insert based on the previous studies. Finally, all doses greater than 3,000 mg should be diluted in 100 ml of normal saline and administered over 10 to 15 minutes. I would not personally recommend giving doses greater than 3,000 mg as IV push undiluted drug until we have more data. Thank you all so much for your time. Please remember to check out our show notes and don't forget to subscribe to our podcast. Ow.